time, Eyes. It's time to talk about one of our favorite teams to cover, and that's, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs. Fresh off an overtime victory of the Tennessee Titans on primetime last weekend, the Chiefs 6-2, and two, again, one of the top contenders in the AFC. They look like they're gearing up for another big Super Bowl run. They had a big reload on offense. They had a big ro- reload on defense. A lot of new additions, but there's one in particular, one move and one new addition that's looking like a really smart move by the Chiefs, especially what we saw in their last game. And I know you've got some specifics on that. Before I hand it over to you, Mize, we want to hear from the Chiefs. Chiefs fan, Chiefs kingdom in the comments below. Like I just said, a lot of new additions to this football team, a lot on offense, a lot on defense, but we want to hear from you. Give us your most impactful new addition that the Chiefs add into the fold this season now that we're halfway through the year. Give us who you think's had the biggest impact that's new to this organization. We want to hear from you. But Maya, what's the latest out of Kansas City? Yeah, Nick. So obviously the Chiefs have moved off of Rashad Fenton, and we thought that that may be pointing to a lot of trust in young rookie Trent McDuffie out of Washington, and you know, first game back, he seems to have done pretty well, and we're going to go over the numbers first, Nick. So in his first game uh, back from injury against Tennessee, he had a 71.6 overall PFF grade for his defensive performance, but a 79.9 pass coverage grade. So that was very, very impressive. And you think, okay, but how good has Rashad Fenton been? Is that comparable? Well, Nick, Fenton has not been comparable whatsoever. He is graded out at a 57.3 overall defensive grade and a 58.8 coverage grade. He has marginal advantages in the run defense and pass rush, but it's just marginal at best. But McDuffie has been a much better uh, coverage and overall defender uh, in his short limited playtime, but he seems to be the player that they thought he was. Uh, when they drafted him early in this draft. So McDuffie looks good, and his uh, debut back from injury. Uh, so this guy uh, out of Washington, we knew that he was going to be good, Nick. We knew he had all of the tools, the, he had the bet, good play. Uh, he just looked like a real player if you uh, look the eye test of his time in Washington. We didn't know if it was going to translate to the field, but it seems like it is. What do you think about McDuffie so far? Yeah, so there's two things to consider, right? One of the things we bring this up all the time because you and I are big fans of pro football focus. It's important to remember when you hear a grade in the 70s, remember something in the 80s for all those who aren't familiar, that's like superstar all pro level status, right? Like like a Micah Parsons, for example, is like an 84, Aaron Donald's in the 80s, right? Those That's the kind of level, you know, when you're getting the 80s, that's the kind of level of player you get. So some a player grading out in the 70s is, is exceptional. That's a really good game. That's a really nice, uh, really nice game. So McDuffie started his career off of the Chiefs here, his return, I should I'd say with the bang and another thing to remember because some Chiefs fans may say look it was against the Tennessee Titans and Malik Willis of course he's going to grade out well because the Titans don't throw the ball very good but that's not what PFF focuses on they look at the routes they look at the snaps every play you know so for example if uh if McDuffie got beat like right off the ball three straight times that would be three really bad grades for McDuffie whether or not Willis could get him the football or not so even though the uh, Malik Willis is a rookie quarterback and the Tennessee Titans aren't the most advanced passing offense uh, PFF looks specifically on those one-on-one specific matchups that McDuffie he had and looking at the data he clearly won his fair share of them in fact he outperformed Fenton again looking like a really smart move by the Chiefs and these are the kind of decisions that work out really good for franchises in the long term when teams get younger by moving off an older guy and pick up more draft capital more assets which the Chiefs obviously did in the trade that's just an example of what good teams well-managed teams do and this is just we see this all the time with the Chiefs they seem to make every smart move and these little moves really add up in the long term because these little piece moves right here they give you draft capital they give you a little more assets here maybe you can trade up in the draft maybe trade down in the draft maybe you don't feel like you have to spend as much for the big name free agent maybe you have the ammunition to trade for i don't know a tony in the middle of the season could you make moves like this so these are the kind of decisions that really work out here and, and, and again it begins so the chiefs appear to draft well because mcduffie looks like a player so again you make a good trade you time it well because you have mcduffie returning just in time to move on fenton you drafted well because mcduffie turns out to be a better player than fenton and the result the chiefs are really good no surprise there it's just another smart move by this chiefs organization yeah nick so the chiefs draft well play well, develop well, and they make smart decisions. They like to move off of bad coverage, guys. Obviously, last year, we were big advocates of moving off of uh, Sorensen, and yeah. they were able to do that. Uh, they move off Fenton. You know, I, I like that even if a guy's been around for a while, if he has some name uh, recognition with them, they're not afraid to go ahead and be like, listen, you're not living up to our expectation. You're not at the standard that we want to be, and we're going to, part ways move on and upgrade and they're not afraid to take risks get this guy 
in the first round of the draft with 21st overall pick. You know, I, I really like McDuffie so far. Obviously, it's a very limited sample size. But so far, uh, even other players around the league are noticing that the Chiefs secondary was locking guys up. And like you said, it was against the Tennessee Titans. But A.J. Brown tweeted out uh, during the game, nobody is getting open, you know, and Malik Willis said he can't do it all on his own. So you see other people are noticing that whether it was the lack of separation from the Titans receivers, but you have to be covered to not have separation. So the Chiefs uh, defenders were locking up the Titans receivers in that game. They really couldn't get much done in the passing department. And just overall, the defense played a really strong game. If they didn't, they wouldn't have been able to win that game, which was very, very close, and the Chiefs pulled out a nice win. So I really like McDuffie's performance, like you said. I like what he uh, has been putting on tape in college. I like that it's kind of showing that it's translating to the pros so early on. And these young corners coming out of this draft look like a very promising bunch when you look at uh, Sauce Gardner, uh, Derek Stingley, Trent McDuffie, all the guys in the first round. Very uh, obviously Tariq Woolen as well, who wasn't a first round guy, but look, they have a ton of uh, corner depth in this past draft. So good on Kansas City for picking it up. So I'll leave you with this, Mike. So obviously, guess who the Jets just beat last weekend, right? The Buffalo Bills on the strength of a great performance by their young, rangy, athletic corner in Sauce Gardner. So obviously, the Chiefs may be potentially going off that mold there as well, understanding, hey, to, to maybe shut down or at least contain this Bills offense, you need a fast, young, athletic, rangy corner. McDuffie's that same kind of mold as Sauce Gardner. Time will tell if he's a good a player. But again, this is just one of those little moves, one of those little chess pieces you move into place. I, I think if I'm a Chiefs fan, I keep an eye on this for some potential Buffalo Bills playoff matchup down the road because this could be a big change a big difference maker from the earlier matchup to a potential playoff matchup